I hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon. I'd like now to introduce our president, and I hope he'll come to his inaugural event tomorrow morning at 9.30, our president, Dr. Mohamed Kayomi. Well, hello everyone. It's a pleasure to see everyone. San Jose State has a rich history of talented people who have studied here, visited, and worked here. Today we recognize and celebrate a segment of those talented people who have written poetry for personal enjoyment, publication, and to help change the world. Evan Markham was one of our most famous alumni who was a world famous poet. His 1899 poem of The Man with a Hope brought attention to the plight of many workers uh, with the start of the 20, 20th century. Mr. Markham was an alum who dedicated himself to his alma mater. Even after he moved to, in New, York, to New York City in uh, 1899, he stayed connected to the campus. He returned a few times to give lectures, including one in 1933 when he was 81 years old. Edwin Markham also interacted with students and exchanged letters with them. He attended some poetry events organized by Dr. Bland uh, that were held in Villa Montablo at the home of another poet, Senator James Freeland. Mr. Markham judged students' poetry contests and contributed poems to the Quill, a literary journal started by Dr. Bland and students uh, in 19, uh, and his students in 1929 and still published today by students under Reed magazine. San Jose State has a very rich legacy of uh, poetry enriched by the literary world and it's wonderful to see so many of our students and employees and alums continuing to build on San Jose State's rich legacy. I'm pleased to to also know that sometime today, uh, Santa Clara County past and current poet laureates, Neil Patterson and Sally Ashton will participate with us, along with our alum, Erica Goss, and many others. In the spirit of Legacy of Poetry Day, I'd like to share with you two uh, poems. Uh, they are both in Persian, but I'll, I'll recite, them, uh, recite the English translation. The first one is, is a short uh, uh, poem by 13th century Persian poet Saadi, and this is the poem that is in the United Nations Hall of Fame, Hall of Nations. And the poem is, human beings are members of a whole in creation of one essence and soul. If one member is afflicted with pain, other members uneasy will remain. If you have no sympathy for human pain, the name of human you cannot retain. Uh, the second poem is one of my wife's po uh, poetry, which, you know, she's a Persian poet, and she wrote this one after the destruction of the Talis Buddha uh, uh, by the Taliban and also the 9-11 tragedy. I'll read the, again the translation and I can uh, assure you that uh, the original one is far more eloquent than my translation. And the title of the poem is My Tears, My Tear Drops. I cried every night about the cruelty of cosmos. I cried like a river stream for the loss of my loved ones. My teardrops did not wash the face of garden flowers, but the tears of my heart covered deserts like wild tulips. My thought never left your bewitched spells. Like Romeo, I cried totally mystified and bewildered. The flood of my faith destroyed my heart's castle. I cried for the tears of Mother Earth. In the roller coaster of life, choked in my own tears, I cried far from the well informed and the erudite. The lovely treasure I'd nourished in opulence, alas, that I cried for them in vain nights and days. In memory and loss of loved ones from my homeland, I cried openly and in seclusion. Mothers perished and left behind thirsty, le thirsty left babies. I cried for all impoverished and destitute babies. The scenic and historic homeland of my homeland was destroyed in ruins. I cried for the destiny of all believers and non-believers. The, the hand of inhumane smashed Buddha statues. I cried for all Buddhists, Hindus, and others alike. 
The mob of inhumanity destroyed the world towers. I cried for the death of the world tower martyrs. Neither Cyrus nor Alexander achieved immortality. I cried for the loss of the thr their thrones and fortunes. The love of candle, the love of candle flame burned the butterfly wings. For me, that I ended up crying all alone. The tears did not affect my tears did not affect anyone's ears. The flame of my inner self made me cry from head to toe. Deep in prayers, yearning towards Mecca, I cried to God, the One and the Almighty. Ailing and weak in the past and in vast pain, I cried and ran barefooted for the pain of the purgatory. Now my tears have dried to shed in the feet of my beloved. I cried for the hard luck of all future poets. Thank you.